Hi, my name is Ale, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to recreate Twitter's interface using Swift UI. Before we start working on adding anything to the UI, we're going to add a structure that will represent a single tweet. And for that, I'm going to add a new file. I'm going to select a Swift file, and I'm going to name it Tweet. So here, I'm going to add a struct called tweet and I'm going to make it identifiable. We're going to add a few properties. The first property we'll add is the ID. Let ID be equal to UUID. Then we're going to have the author's name. Let author name, which will be of type string. Then we'll add the username, let author username, which will also be a string. Then we're going to have a timestamp text, let timestamp text, which will represent uh, when the tweet was posted. Let text, this will be the actual tweet, so it's also a string. And we have three more properties. The first one is the number of replies on the tweet. Number of replies, and this is an int. Then we have number of retweets, which is also an int. And finally, we'll have the number of likes. And this is an int as well. Perfect, so now that we have a structure to represent our tweet, we'll be able to use it to create fake tweets that we'll show in our user interface. So let's go back to content view. And here, the first thing we're going to do is, first, we're gonna add an extension of color that will let us access a Twitter blue color that we'll use throughout our interface. So let's add it outside our content view struct, extension, color and here we'll have a static var called twitter blue which will be of type color and this will be a color for red we're going to use 29 divided by 255 then for green we'll add 161 divided by 255 and for blue, we'll add 241 divided by 255. So this is um, a blue color very similar to the color that Twitter uses throughout its UI. Now, in our content view, we're, we're going to start making some changes so that we can see the four different tabs that you see on Twitter. So let's get rid of this text. And before we add the tabs, we're going to add a C stack. And now we're going to add a tab view. As you can see, we need to provide a selection to let our tab view know which tab is selected. So we're going to add a variable inside our content view, a state variable. So add state private var selected tab. And initially, this will be zero. So now in our tab view constructor, we can use select a tab as the selection parameter using the dollar sign, select the tab. And for our content, we're going to have the four different tabs that, that Twitter can show. So for our first tab, what we'll do is we have to create a tab item. So here we'll have first the view that we want to include in the tab. And then we'll create a tab item that will show uh, whatever we want to show on the tab. So we can have a label with text or we could use an image, which is what we'll do in our case. So let's first change the tag to zero. And for the tab item, we're going to use a system image. So let's get rid of this text here and add image with a system name. 
and the name of this image is house. And now we can just copy and paste these three more times so that we can create each tab and we'll modify it as needed. So for the second tab, the tag will be one and the image name will be magnifying glass. For the third tab, the tag will be two and the image has a name of Bill. And finally, for the fourth tab, the tag will be three and the image is envelope. Perfect. So this will help set up our tab view. So let's run our app and see how it looks. Great, so as you can see, we have the tab bar at the bottom and we have different icons for each of the tabs and you can tap them and they will become selected. But right now we have the same content for all of them because that's what we defined. So we're just using a text. And for this tutorial, we're going to recreate the feed or the home feed only. So that's what we'll be working on right now. So let's go back to Xcode. And before we start working on the feed, I want to make one more modification to our tab view. We're going to change the accent color to be the Twitter blue color that we defined. Dot accent color dot Twitter blue. And that way, when you select a view, you'll see that it will be selected with the Twitter blue color. So now let's start working on the home feed. The first view that we're going to define is the actions view, which is where we see the different buttons for sharing or for retweeting a, a tweet. So let's add a new struct and I'll be calling this tweet actions view, which will be of type view. When you create one of these views, we'll need a tweet. So let's add lit tweet, which is of type tweet. And now let's add the body. So in the view, we're going to have the four buttons that you see for taking different actions on a tweet. So let's add here a horizontal stack or an H stack. We're going to add our first button, which is the message button. Button action. So we're going to leave the action empty for all of these buttons. And for the label, we're going to use an image with a system name of message. After the button, we're going to have a text. And here we're going to check the number of replies on our tweet. So if the number of replies is greater than zero, we'll show the number. Otherwise, we're not going to show anything on this text. So tweet dot number of replies is greater than zero. And if so, we're going to show the number of replies. Otherwise, we're just going to show an empty string. After this text, we're going to have a spacer. And now we're going to add the next button. So we'll leave the action empty. And again, for the label, we're going to use an image with a system name, which is called arrow dot two dot square path. And this is what we'll use as the retweet button. So let's add a text. And here we'll check if the number of retweets is greater than zero. And if so, then we'll show that number. Otherwise, we'll show an empty string. So tweet the number of retweets is greater than zero. Then we'll show that number. Otherwise, we'll show an empty string. Let's add another spacer. And now we're going to add the like button. So button 
And here we'll leave our action empty. So for the label, we're going to use another image with a system name of heart. And we're going to add a text element. So now we'll check if the number of likes is greater than zero. Then we'll show it, otherwise we'll show an empty string. Let's add one more spacer. And finally, we're going to show the share button. So let's add one more button here. The action is empty. For the label, we'll use an image with a system name of square dot and dot arrow dot Great, so now we have a view that will show the actions that you can take on a tweet at the bottom of the tweet view. So now we're going to actually add a tweet view that will show the text in the tweet as well as the author and their username and these tweet actions view. So let's add here a struct called tweet view, which will be a view. And again, we're going to need a tweet where we'll get the data for this view. Now let's add the body. So in this body, we're going to have the actual text in the tweet as well as the author, the date it was posted, and then we're going to have the actions at the bottom. So first, we're going to add a horizontal stack or H stack with an alignment of top. Inside this horizontal stack, we're going to add an image that will serve as a placeholder for the user's profile picture. So image with a system name of person.crop.circle.feel and we're going to do some styling. So for the font, we're going to do a system font with a size of 55. We're going to add some padding at the top. And we're also going to add some padding on the trailing side with a value of 5. And finally, we're going to make the, make the foreground color to be Twitter blue. Great. So after our profile picture, we're going to add a vertical stack, V stack. With an alignment of leading. And inside this vertical stack, we're going to have a horizontal stack or H stack. Here we'll have a text that will show the tweet's author. So tweet.author name. We're going to make it bold and we're also going to set the line limit to be 1. So basically the author's name cannot wrap to a second line. Now after the author's name, we're going to add the username and the tweet's timestamp. So let's add another text. And we're going to add the at sign. Now we're going to add tweet dot author username. Then we're going to add a small circle. And I do this by pressing the option key and then 8. And finally, we're going to add the tweets timestamp. We're also going to set the line limit of this text to be 1. And we're going to change the truncation mode so that the text in the middle gets truncated when the text is too long. And finally, we're going to set the foreground color to be gray. Perfect. 
So around this whole horizontal stack, we're going to add some padding on the top with a value of 5. Now, after adding the profile picture and the author name and username, we're going to add the tweet inside this vertical stack. So we're going to have a text, which will include the tweet's text. We're not going to have a line limit, so we'll set the line limit to be nil. So that means we're going to take up as much space as needed so that we can show all of the text on the tweet. And we're going to set the multi-line text alignment to be leading. And finally, we're going to use our tweets, tweet actions view. So we're going to create a tweet actions view and we're going to give it the tweet that the tweet view received. We're going to set the foreground color of this view to be gray and we're going to add some padding. So at the bottom and the top we're going to have a padding of 10 and on the trailing side we're going to have a padding of 30. Perfect. So now we have our tweet view ready and the final thing that we're going to do is create the view that will represent the feed of tweets. So it's going to have a list of tweet views. So let's add another structor, struct feed view and this will also be of type view. To create a feed view we're going to need a list of tweets. So let Tweet of type array of tweet. And now we're going to add the body of our view. So on Twitter, on each of the views, we have a navigation bar where you can press either your profile picture or you can change the type of feed that you see on your home screen. So you can see like the most recent or most popular tweets. So we're going to add a navigation view on our feed and we're going to add some items that we will show on the navigation bar. So in our body, the first thing we'll have is a navigation view. And inside our navigation view, we're going to have a list that will take in the tweets that we received. And for each tweet, we're going to create a tweet view. We're going to pass the tweet. Perfect. So now we're going to do some styling on our list. So let's add a list style. And here we're going to use the plain list style. For the navigation bar, navigation bar, we're going to give it a title, which will be Twitter. And we're, go we're also going to change the display mode we'll use the inline display mode. Finally, we're going to add the navigation bar items or the two buttons on each side of the navigation bar. So let's add navigation bar items. And for the leading items, we're going to have a button. So let's add a button. The action will be empty. And for the label, we're going to use an image with a system name, which is person.crop.circle.field. And we're going to give a foreground color to this image, which will be the Twitter blue. Great, so let's move this a little. Now, finally, for our trailing items, we're going to have a button with an empty action. And for the label, 
we're going to have an image with a system name and the name is moon.stars and we're also going to have a foreground color of twitter blue perfect so now that we have our feed view ready we're actually going to use it in our app to display some tweets on the home tab so I'm gonna copy and paste some tweets that I created earlier, but you can create your own list of tweets to show in your feed. So I'll just add here a list of tweets. And now what I'll do is in our tab view for the first tab, which is the home feed, instead of showing a text that just says tab content one, I'm gonna show a feed view and I'm gonna give it some tweets that it will show on the feed. And now for our first step, this is the view that you will see when the tab is selected. So let's go ahead and run our app. Great, so as you can see, we have on the home tab, a feed that shows some tweets and we have a navigation bar with two buttons, one to see your profile and one to change the feed or the feed type that you see. Each tweet has a profile picture, a name, a username, a timestamp, it shows the actual text on the tweet, and it has some buttons that show the number of replies, the number of retweets, likes, and the share button. And if you have multiple tweets, you can scroll throughout this list. Now, if you change to another tab, you'll see that the view is pretty much empty. It just shows the text tab content one because that's what we defined on our, on our code to show for each of these tabs. So we're focusing on the feed view only. And one more thing that we're going to add is the floating action button that appears on the bottom right corner to create a new tweet. So let's actually go back to Xcode and add one more view for this button. So I'm going to add a new struct called new tweet button, which will be a view. And we'll add the body of our view. And here all we need is to have a button. We can leave once again our action empty. And for the label, we're going to use an image with a system name of pencil. We'll do some styling. So for the font, we're going to use large title. Uh, for the foreground color, we're going to use white. And we're gonna have some padding around our image. Now below our button, we're going to do a little bit more styling. So we're going to change the background so that we show the Twitter blue color. So color dot Twitter blue. We're going to add a mask so that our button is a circle instead of the default square. Dot mask circle. And finally, we're going to add a shadow with a radius of five. Great, so this is all we need for our button. And now we're going to actually add it in the main view of our app. So inside our C stack below our tab view, we can add a V stack and then we'll add a spacer. Now we'll have an H stack. Here we'll, we'll add another spacer. And finally, we're gonna show our new tweet button. And we're gonna add some padding. We'll add some padding to the bottom and I'll have a value of 65. And then we're gonna add some padding on the trailing side of the button. Great, so let's run our app again and see how it looks. Great, so as you can see, we still have our four tabs and we can see our feed on the home tab. And now we also have a button that you can use to create a new tweet.
Well, this is all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about iOS development with Swift and Swift UI, let me know what you want to learn in the comments and make sure to subscribe as I'll be posting new videos very soon.